Welcome to the VideoScribe step-by-step -step tutorial. This interactive tutorial allows you to get to grips with the basics in VideoScribe. Select a scene in the Scenes panel on the left to begin a new topic in the tutorial. You can then use the preview buttons in the top right corner of the screen at any time to see the demos in your own work in action. Images are the main focus of your projects, visually illustrating your topic to your audience. You can add an image from our enormous image library using the image button in the left hand panel. Try placing an image within this box and click the image to begin customizing it. Under the edit tab in the right hand panel, you can customize the colors of your image and make other adjustments such as opacity. Once you've customized your image to how you want it, use the preview from current scene button to see it draw onto the canvas. You can customize your video scribe animations to create a wide range of visual effects. Click on your image and select the animation tab in the right hand panel to bring up the animation settings for this image. Hand draw, pen draw and draw use our classic drawing animations and you can even choose which hand or drawing utensil draws the image onto the canvas. Move in, drag in and bounce in add movement to your images if you wish to have a hand move your images onto the canvas or create the effect of them moving on their own. Fade in makes your image gradually fade onto the canvas for a subtle animation effect. Try selecting these images and changing their animation types to see the different effects you can create. Your timeline at the bottom of the screen is how you determine the order of your animations. We've placed three number images into this scene Try changing their order on the timeline, and then use the preview from current scene button to see how their animation order has been affected. You can use cameras in VideoScribe to determine which parts of the canvas are shown in your video at any given time. Cameras appear as pink outline boxes on your canvas. To add a camera into a scene, use the camera button in the left hand panel. You can then position and resize the camera to cover the images you wish to show at that point in your video. To change when this camera position takes place, you can move the camera to a different point on your timeline. Try adding a new camera and resizing it to cover this box. To make your project even more visually interesting, check out your scene settings. Click on an area of blank canvas to bring up your scene settings in the right hand panel. You can choose a background color that fits the tone or setting of your video, and you can also use scene entrance transitions to create an animated transition between the previous scene and your current scene. Great job! You've come to the end of this step-by-step -step tutorial, having created some cool animated effects along the way. You'll now want to download this project as a video file to watch it back later. From here, you can create a link to a preview of your project to share with anyone you like, or you can download your project as an MP4 video or a 15 second GIF animation.